It's time for these birds to leave my nest, okay? What's up, everyone? I'm Love. I'm Kelsey, and I'm single, so I thought it would be funny if I tried the occult baby challenge. It's a challenge in The Sims 4 where you have one matriarch and you're supposed to have a baby with every occult sim in The Sims. There's some rules to the challenge that I'm mixing together. If you're interested, those links will be below as always. So we still have not aged up anyone out of the house, but I think this episode might be the day. I'm gonna kick them out, all right? I looked at some of your guys' comments. Some of you say that you can't have babies with robots and some of you say that you can, but you have to like use a lot of cheats. We're gonna do our darndest, but if it doesn't work, out, we're gonna start working on the island spirits. So there you have it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's go into my game. Oh my gosh, I just realized I've never used lot traits and geothermal means natural heating lowers utility bills by generating power and keeps any pools warm. So that's how we're gonna make sure that all of my sims don't freeze to death in the pool. Incredible. We'll do study spot, finish their homework, slight bonus to skills being built, and then child's play. Kids just seem to learn faster here. That's perfect. I cannot believe I didn't use any of those. Oh no, is one of my kids sick? Merlin, are you sick? Pressurized from illness. Let's order you some medicine medicine here. Merlin, 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 drink your potion, please. Thank you. Let's have you go to bed here. So why don't you give your mom a little pep talk since you need some social. Chat with mom. Perfect. Enthuse about interests. Talk about how cold it is outside. Joke about a facial hair. He's like, I don't know if I can grow it. Yeah, they're just having a nice little combo. Oh my God, the kids are up. They're scared. Why are you guys scared? Scared of monster? I put a nightlight in your room. What do you mean you're scared of a monster? They're waking up their big brother, Jack. Jack's like, what's going on? He got back in bed, Jack! That was so sassy. Come here, come console your little brother, Lee. I think you just scared him, so that did not help. Is there really a monster under your bed? Okay, ask Chelsea to spray the monster under your bed. Do not wake up, Ariel. She's gonna be mad. Chelsea, why don't you calm your boys down and then go spray the monster under the bed? She's like, don't worry, boys, but she's doing her little monster spray. She's like, you know, your siblings are more monstrous than anything that could fit under this bed. But the boys are happy now. Ooh, we need to make some food here. And Sebastian, why don't you sing everyone a beautiful little song? He got better. His voices seem to drop too. You're tired. Can you like sleep in here? Go sleep in the water. He's like, honestly, I'd just rather be my mermaid self sleeping in the pool. There he goes. And sleep tea time. He's feeling comfy in his watery bed. Okay, what are the kids doing? Hayden's very focused. He's gonna go to the restroom. And Leaf is watching TV with mom while eating. Cute. But mom, you need to probably make some breakfast for everybody. We're gonna have her cook eggs and toast. Oh my gosh, did someone break a toilet? They did. Jack, when you get up, you're gonna repair the toilet for me, okay, big boy? There you go. Thank you, Jack. He's feeling confident today. He's like, I'm ready to go. I'm gonna tackle baking through hard work, even though he's lazy. <laughs> We're gonna make some cereal marshmallow squares. Let's go. You gotta start baking more. You're only at level two. It's not great. His little brother's behind playing what seems to be video games. Oh, Hayden finished his homework. Good job, Hayden. You have a skill up to level four, which is very good. Leaf is also an excellent B student. Okay, they're both gonna age up very soon, actually. Can you do some extra credit so you make sure to age up with your brother? My beautiful Hayden. Thank you. Jack is like, I'm kind of tense. I don't like the cleaning that I had to do. It was just a lot. Oh God, are those bad? Those look disgusting. Oh God. They are really gross. I'm gonna throw them away. I'm so sorry. Why don't you craft more garden planters? Okay, now he's happy. I feel like he prefers doing this to baking. He's kind of gotten used to it versus baking stresses him out. He's like, there's a lot of cleanup involved. It's not for me. Merlin woke up. He would like to win a competitive game. And Ariel woke up very uncomfy. Hayden got his extra credit done. Good job, Hayden. Ariel, are you aging up soon? She will be actually, yes. So maybe we'll have her do some extra credit work as well. And Sebastian's still sleeping. Ooh, and look who's up. It's Quinn. And she's hungry. It's okay, Quinn. We've got food for you. And Quinn needs a shower. Looking a little nasty there, Quinn. It's all good. Mom is here. She, Mom's like, ooh, that girl stink. Chelsea, why don't you send Athena an energized text 
maybe ask Athena to hang out today. Merlin is dancing. Hayden's playing game. I'm feeling pumped too. Let's go to the gym. What if you came here though? So my children are busy. I need to get them aged out. Thank you. Athena's like, no, 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 I can come over. It's fine. Where is Athena? There it is. Get a gauge to Artemis. Artemis is dead. Chelsea, Artemis is a ghost robot. Go give Athena a knock, knock joke, a little hip bump. Athena's uncomfy. What's going on? Let's brighten Athena's day. And Johnny Zest is running in circles. Okay, now Athena's feeling flirty. This is great. Okay, give Athena like a hug. Tell Athena an unbelievable story. How's everyone doing in the house? Sebastian's still asleep. Hayden is chilling. Okay, how are you doing, buddy? You need to keep going. We need you out of the house as soon as possible. Katie, this level five, good job. Okay, I need you to bake now. I need you to start learning how to bake. Let's try those cereal marshmallow squares again. Okay, back to over here. Flirting. Okay, flatter. Romance. Compliment Athena's appearance. Be like, I really love your strong looking robot legs. I don't know why strangers like Greta are just like randomly trying to involve themselves in our conversations. Like, this is my robot girlfriend, okay? Wait, do we have a robot girlfriend? I think Artemis is our girlfriend. Yeah, okay. I forgot that I did that. Yay, Jack reached late baking level three. Good job, Jack. Put those out for your siblings and try again. What should we bake this time? We've unlocked some more recipes. Ooh, maybe peanut butter cookies. That sounds great. He's a little tired and needs some needs met. So after this, we'll let him go. Oh my God, don't flirt with Greta. Okay, Athena wants to be best friends. Of course, we're best friends, Athena. Oh, Athena wants to be our girlfriend. Yep, of course, Athena. Let's kiss. We have two robot girlfriends now. This is fine. I'm fine. This is fine. Sweet talk. Okay. Wow. That was a weird kiss that they just did. Very weird. Okay. We're just going to keep blowing kisses. Embrace our girlfriend. Okay. We can woohoo. Let's go woohoo in a bush with Athena. The thing with Athena is that I feel like a robot must be good at woohoo, right? Like they're a robot. They can search all the internet for the best tips and implement them. Anyway, we're going to a bush to go woohoo our robot girlfriend. One of two robot girlfriends. Oh my. Okay. See, there we have it. We're woohooing a robot. At last. I feel like this has been a long time coming. Ooh, okay, that was too much. That was too far, Kelsey. Okay, Hayden and Leaf just became good friends. Happy for them. All right, so Athena's now our lover slash girlfriend. And we're gonna nap in the bush. Don't nap in the bush. Just go home to your bed. It's right here. Oh, Ariel got a dance skill acquired. Good for you, Ariel. Let's go. Let's see your move. Oh, she's having a little a Petri Schmidt dance party with Leaf and Merlin. Sebastian's having a good time. He's got to work on fitness. So why don't you swoop some laps. Ariel is bored. Oh my gosh, why don't you gossip to Athena? Let's do a friendly introduction and just give Athena a bunch of gossip because you want to gossip five times. You only gossiped once. Oh my God, don't gossip with Athena in your mom's bedroom. Ariel. Oh my gosh. Recount funniest scene. I guess from the movie that she watched. She said something about football. Chat about actors. Wait, this is so cool. I don't think I remember having these interactions. Okay, how's Quinn doing? Quinn's great. She's on an iPad. Oh, she's level two thinking skills. Good job, Quinn. I didn't even ask her to do that. And Jack fell asleep sitting up. Oh my God, our poor baby. Jack, just go to bed. I know you got woken up early because of your brothers. And it is only 6 a.m. now. How is it 6 a.m.? Oh my God, high school graduation. Oh, we get to go. Okay, we're bringing the whole family to graduation. He's exhausted. It's okay. Being tired at graduation is part of it. I don't know why it's part of it, but it is. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Everyone's here. Okay. Okay, happy graduation. Oh my God, look at my little guy. Let's go, let's go sit together inside. Come on team. I love that the Apichishmay family rules deep, okay? They got a lot of kids. Oh my goodness, look at this. Is this classmates? Ariel, of course, is like gonna go chat with 
some other team. Let's do a friendly introduction. Maybe she gets her first friend here with an amazing fit. Gossip, there we go. We can gossip to him now. Yes, we're gonna gossip over our brother Hayden. And Hayden's like, I don't wanna be in the middle of this. Okay, amazing. We gossiped a second time. Wait, is it happening? What's happening? Maybe a celebrity is here? Dirk Dreamer is here. A celebrity is at our graduation. Jack found out that Olive is a bookworm, Olive Tinker. That's cute. Why don't you gossip? Maybe she'll have some gossip about that celebrity. Be like, I heard something about that celebrity. Dirk Dreamer, mm-hmm. How's Quinn doing? Let's maybe teach Quinn some flashcards. Okay, the diploma ceremony is already waiting for your name to be called or go get your diploma yourself. Don't forget to check your inventory for a photo afterwards. Oh my gosh, yay, it's starting. This is so exciting. Let's have us go get our diploma. Oh my God, he's gonna pass out. He's passing out at graduation. No, Jack, I'm so sorry. Oh no, I hope she's not like Jack. Jack, Jack, impeachish me, are you here? Chelsea's focused on teaching Quinn, but the rest of them are all chatting. Okay, you should gossip to your brother, Sebastian. Be like, Sebastian, I heard some stuff about that celebrity that's here. There he goes, Jack is going, he's getting his graduation. He's walking, good job, Jack, good job. Okay, why don't you take a photo here? Pose for a picture. Ooh, a good pose, work. Jack. Oh, he's graduation. We're so proud of him. Mom is chilling, hanging out with everyone. Quinn is gonna nap on the chair. She's so cute though. Look at Quinn just passed out. Oh, Jack's chatting up. Max Villarreal, who's also graduating. Give him a little heartfelt compliment. Be like, congratulations on your graduation. Ariel is still talking to Taylor. Let's gossip really quick to our friend here. Okay, we gossiped five times. Now we just need to mess around in the cuddle cards with someone and we're good to go. The event is ending soon. Congratulations to all graduates. Go forth and make everyone proud. Oh, and the Impeach May family all supported. Chelsea, why don't you get a hug from your graduate who is, oh, he's passing out. Okay, maybe we won't get a hug from our graduate. That's my bad. Actually, Chelsea's exhausted too. It is 11 p.m. So I guess it is kind of late. Be like, congratulations, Jack. I'm so proud of you. All right, we're all going home. Goodbye, graduate. This was very cute. I loved it. We are home and it's time for everyone to go to bed. Oh, Hayden's going through a phase. Oh my Hayden. Okay, we'll go back to sleep, please. It's nighttime. Which one is it? He will pick up an instrument any chance he gets. Yell off it and turn all radios up to 11. Oh, he's gonna be loud. We've got Ariel, Sebastian, and Merlin are the first awake at 6 a.m. Pretty early, guys. Sebastian, how you doing, buddy? You are fine. Why don't you swim some laps? I feel like Sebastian is going to get all of his stuff done faster than Jack is. But all the kids are getting up. They're getting ready for school. He's taking his little morning dip. So cute. Love you, mermaid son. Hopefully these two age up today. And I think Ariel's gonna age up today too, which means that we can move Ariel out of the house and hopefully get impregnated by a robot. We're gonna send all of our students alone. Okay, everyone's going to school. We're all gonna study hard, right? And look who's up, it's Jack. He's eating his sweets this morning, feeling pretty good. Why don't you go to the bathroom, play some dolls, have fun. Chelsea's up, she's feeling flirty as she's going downstairs. Ooh, but she's very uncomfy because she's hungry and feels stinky and Quinn is very stinky, but it's fine. Oh, the pink bib. The leaf is sitting next to a new kid at lunch when he spies something pink in his lunch bag. Is that a bib? The kid smiles nervously and claims he got his baby sister's lunch again. Then the bib falls out where everyone can see it. Pick it up or just ignore it. I feel like Leaf would be like, I saw nothing. Like trying to be nice. Lunch is almost over and the class bully notices the bib on the floor, but he can't figure out who it belongs to. So it worked out. Good job, Leaf. Oh, looks like someone's here. Frank Jr. I love how he always cheers when he sees mom. It's the cutest thing I think I've ever seen in The Sims. I think they should be best friends, honestly. I'm so sorry to all of my other lovers, but my son is my best friend. And that is hands down the truth. Who is someone's calling us? Winner, winner, Sebastian won a school prize. Should we give it to him in the front of the class or privately and quietly? I think he would like it in front of everybody. He received an excellence bunny award. Oh, so proud of him. All right, Jack, how you feeling? He's feeling pretty good. So let's bake some things. Let's do oatmeal cookies. I don't think you've done oatmeal cookies yet. Sounds like a lovely winter treat. Quinn, what's wrong? Quinn's like, I would like a bath. I'm so 
Gross. Jack is busy though. He's Jack, resume your oatmeal cookies. You're just making cookies. Don't eat one of your other cookies. Oh, Greg Jr. is like, this house. So much has been added and changed. Okay, how's that baking skill going, buddy? He's almost to level four, which is great. Let's grab a serving and chat with our brother over some good cookies. I love that the kids are all gonna have cookies when they get home. All right, let's bake again do some sugar cookies. I feel like that's his favorite. How's Quinn doing now? Oh, Quinn's gonna make a mess. Okay, Quinn, why don't you get potty trained by mom? Oh, Athena. No, honey. I am already best friends with someone else. I'm sorry. And it's my son. Athena's probably gonna be pretty mad. She's gonna be like, I don't want to woohoo you. I'll be like, but don't you though? Jack is making a little more. Good job, Jack. I don't know why this is all going so quickly for him. Like this took forever for my not so berry challenge. I really Really was expecting it to be pretty rough, but it's not bad. Oh, Athena's here. Well, you know, maybe you should hang out for a little bit longer, Athena. Oh my gosh, Athena, are you okay? Oh my God, Athena came to our house and broke. Don't worry, I am very handy, okay? I'm a very handy man, I will help you. Oh my God, that is my lover. If we don't fix Athena, we can't have her baby. Ugh. It's fine, it's fine. Come on, please fix Athena, please. Very dramatic to be like, I wanna be your best friend and be like, actually my best friend is my son. And for Athena to just be like, I'm gonna up and break and force you to fix me. The drama. Ooh, it's not looking good. It's taking a while to repair Athena. Oh my God. Sebastian invited over Classmate Taylor, of course. But also we fixed Athena. Wait, everything's going so fast. Why did it go so fast? Grades are up. Oh my gosh, my boys. Leaf's grades are up. And Hayden. And Ariel. Yes. Okay. Ariel, Hayden, and Leaf all are aging up right now. Ariel looks pissy. But for some reason, she's actually happy. It's We've got a cake for all of you. Come here, Ariel, happy birthday. It's your turn to age up and get out of my house. Blow out the candles. I'm sorry that you get kicked out before your brother, but that's just the way it is. You are my gossip queen and it's all good. Happy birthday, queen. So her last is romantic. She's romantic like her mother. She is a mean music writer who's romantic and she graduated with honors. So that's impressive. Everyone is proud of her. Good job. Next up is Leaf. Happy birthday, Leaf. Leaf, I'm so excited to age you up. Oh, and Ariel's destroying a dollhouse. I guess she doesn't want to move out. Happy birthday, yay! We're gonna have Leaf love being outside. So he loves animals and he loves the outdoors. And I think freelance botanist will be his aspiration. Oh, I like the new hair, Leaf. Very good. Okay, and then we've got last but not least is Hayden. Happy birthday, Hayden! Oh no, Athena's leaving just as we're gonna be aging people up. Okay, so he's lactose intolerant. I also think he should love the outdoors and also be a freelance botanist. Okay, and whoa. Oh my gosh, Hayden looks just like Sebastian. This is insane. Like he looks so similar to Sebastian. Let's give these two a makeover. Ah! I'm so excited. I just don't think that my sweet boy would have like long hair. We'll try with that. Let's give him the cute little hat. Yes, this is so cute. Maybe we'll go with this. We'll go with like the little gold one. Very cute. And we'll have some jeans. Amazing. And then we'll have some boots for ya. And there he is. Oh my gosh, Hayden. Let's move on to Leaf. Okay, Leaf. I feel like Leaf's hair is perfect. He's gonna have this hat and then for leaf i just feel like this fits and i like it for him so this is leaf's look leaf looks gray look at these two brothers they're actually kind of wearing the same fit but a little bit different which is very funny same boy different fonts and i love them they're great okay my perfect boys are teens now and it's time to say goodbye to our beloved ariel so sad all right so it's time to say goodbye to Ariel. We're gonna save and manage worlds. We're gonna move her out. And then the problem is that I don't know exactly how to like have the baby. Some of you guys said that like, if I take control of the servo and impregnate her that way, it might work. So we're gonna try that first. Oh my gosh, my kids. All right, we're gonna add Ariel to the fam. She can wreak havoc here. And now we have only two Sims with dark hair in the family. Everyone else is blonde. 
So let's go back, flip the fam, and see if we can make this robot baby happen. Robo baby. Okay, what if we added Athena to family? Okay, and then move Athena out, and then I play as Athena. Does that make sense? I feel like I can do that. Okay, we're going to move Athena into a lot. Congratulations, Athena. You're now going to be a homeowner on a little island. Now I'm going to play as Athena. And I think this is gonna work. Ooh, a servo. This is interesting to like play as a servo. Okay, we're just gonna make Athena happy and we're going to travel. No one said I couldn't cheat. In fact, I have to cheat in this game. So I'm gonna make Athena happy just for my own sanity. We're gonna travel to Chelsea's house. We're gonna impregnate her, baby. Okay, here we are. Let's knock on the door. You are still her girlfriend. Oh my gosh, why are they crying? Oh yeah, Ariel broke that house before she left and aged out. I remember now. Okay, so I changed MC settings to allow try for baby and pregnancies between the same sex. And I also made it that like woohooing 100% results in a baby. I'm gonna guess that this is gonna work, but I don't know. We also might just add Chelsea to our household as the robot for like a hot sec, just so that we can see if this is all gonna function right. All right, Chelsea is added to my family. Okay, fabulous. So we're going to, as our servo, woohoo Chelsea. All right, here we go. Beep bop, boop bop, let's go. All right, it's happening. We are woohooing with a robot in the shower. Probably not advisable, actually. Now that I think about it, a shower woohoo with a robot might get rusty. Let's hope. Let's pray. We're very uncomfortable. Resting from getting wet. Oh no. I didn't realize that was an actual thing that could happen. Chelsea, go to pregnancy test. Pregnancy test, quick. Come on, eating for two. I hope this works. She looks happy. Yes! Oh my God, I did it. Oh my God, I did it. I did it. I got pregnant with a robot's baby. I got pregnant with a robot baby, baby. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh. Thank you guys all so much for all of your recommendations and everything like that. I'm so glad we got this done. Boom. We finally are pregnant with a new baby after a couple episodes with no pregnancy. I am flipping thrilled. I'm so excited. Okay, let's move her back in. Ah, here we go. We're back and Chelsea is eating for two. She's officially pregnant again, which we love, love, love. Jack, can you please just repair this for your siblings? Here we go. Oh my gosh. And once again, we broke Athena. We're gonna repair Athena. And mom, how are you doing? She's doing great. She's eating her cookies. She's pregnant. We love this for her. And Jack is working on fixing Athena, who we broke in the shower. Should have never woohooed Athena in the shower. But now that we have all, both of our sons who have aged up, we should put all of their stuff in the little greenhouse school area. All right, we've got an excellent garden planter that was made by. Jack and Peaches May, which is so cute. We love it. Starter flowers, starter fruits, lilies. Both of you are gonna start learning to plant my boys. Oh my God, I thought that was Santa was at our house, but it is not Santa, it is Jack. That was kind of scary. Honestly, that was very uncomfortable. But our boys, they're planting, they're gardening. Our little gardening boys. They both got their gardening skill, which is really good. Uh oh, Quinn is upset. She's very sad about over something. I don't really know what, but what she should be sad is that mom never potty trained her fully because I'm sad about that. Jack fixed our robot friend up real nicely, which is great. He's making even more baked goods for the family. His baking is level four. Fantastic. Why don't you decorate some of these cookies for us? Oh. His voice is starting to sound I, I so deep like be. Santa's. It's freaking me out. Just Maybe like he should grow a beard since he's older. Okay, wait, I'm gonna do some more makeovers. A, because one of you asked for Chelsea to get a makeover. But B, I just feel like our boy deserves like a little beard, you know? This one's good. I just feel like maybe we should start kind of scrappy with it. Yeah, I think that, that'll be good. And then we'll have Chelsea here get a bit of a makeover. You guys are saying we need like a 2020 look from Chelsea. And I agree with you guys. The little red dress, we can definitely update. I'm thinking... This is cute in like a little red moment. You know how like slip dresses are in? It's giving a little bit of that, which I love. And then shoe wise, we're normally into more of like a strappy shoe moment. We'll go with this one maybe. And then her normal like full body look. Maybe like something more like this. And then we could do more of like a denim jean kind of look here with it. Yes, okay, yes. Kind of like a lighter wash. I'm gonna go this and then and we'll do like a nice sneaker. Yeah, like these sneakers are cute. Yes. 
So this is kind of what I would put Chelsea in in 2022. I think she's looking cute. Oh, what other outfits would I put her in? Maybe like this top. Oh yeah, I could totally see myself wearing this. In fact, I feel like I have this, but in white. And then I would wear like a high-waisted jean with it. Yeah, like these. And then wear like a sneaker that's in black or whatever. Yeah, like these. There you go, perfect. This is the fit I would wear. This also is a cute fit that I think I'd wear too. So these are the like 2002 fits. And then here's the OG fit. And then for cold weather, yeah, this whole look has got to go. I've seen a little bit too much of it. I do like this one though. I think this one's nice and I would do it in the like cream one though. It's kind of cute. And it also gives me like, I'm the mother of a magical group of children energy, which I love. Chelsea's got a bit of a makeover too. Look at Jack, he's growing in his beard. You know, he's coming into himself as the child of Santa. And I love that for him. Let's bake some more sugar cookies. How are the boys doing? One's on the computer and one is enjoying a cookie while watching TV. Amazing. Sebastian's doing amazing. He's almost to the next level of fitness. Oh, look. Oh my gosh. They're all growing in here. The other skills that these two need to do are flower arranging, which I remember is upstairs. So why don't we have Leaf work on making an arrangement? Oh, a holly one. That sounds nice because it's winter. I bet your mother would love that. Oh my gosh. And look at that. Jack reached baking level five. Good job, Jack. Congratulations. This means that we can age him out of the house after we have this baby. I don't want to have two robot babies. You know what I'm saying? Quinn, how about you? Are you ready to go? You are potty level two, thinking level two. Why don't we have your big brother, Sebastian, teach you shapes? That might be good. Sebastian's already in the room. Oh, Leaf acquired the flower arranging skill. Leaf, how's it going? Oh, that looks beautiful. Your mom's gonna love that. My children are all doing so well after episodes and episodes of struggling. Oh, that is beautiful. It says quality poor, but it is high quality in my heart, okay? Why don't you make another one of holly? I'm gonna put this holly one in the downstairs on the table here. Perfect. Oh my gosh, look at our beautiful flowers that we have on our table. Our Quinn is really upset. She wants to go to bed. Okay, Quinn, why don't you go to sleep then? Leaf is already level two flower arranging. Good job, Leaf. Oh my gosh, he's so good. How you doing, Merlin? You aging up soon? He's pretty good, but not like great. Oh my God, why is Chelsea in your bed? Chelsea, get out of their beds, please. Oh, it feels like forever since Chelsea's been with a romantic partner. It could be paranoia, but it could be anxiety or gut feeling, but Chelsea can't help but wonder if her partner is up to or who they're seeing behind her back. Well, that's probably okay, Chelsea. You know, like you don't really need a partner. You could probably break up with them. Also, I think you have two girlfriends and one of them is a ghost. How you doing, Quinn? She's not feeling too hot. Okay, well, why don't you go take a nap, sweetie? You're really tired. She had a nightmare. Poor baby. It's okay, Merlin's down here with you. I can't wait till he can start doing magic. But you need to get level three of social skill. And I'm going to wake up Sebastian. He's feeling a little tense. I don't know why. But why don't you swim some laps? Ooh, it looks like already we've got some things growing over here. There you go. He's gonna do laps. He's feeling better now already. His fun's going up. And we are going to see if we can get him up to level five. He's currently level three, but he's almost level four. There he is, he's level four. All right, and we're just gonna watch him swim in circles until he reaches level five. Come on, buddy. Oh my gosh, I'm excited and nervous. Meanwhile, we'll have Quinn working on her skills. I think you need to work on thinking, Quinn. Thinking imagination potty, so we need to get you going as well. Keep going, keep going, Sebastian. You're almost there. Quinn is also energized. She's working on her thinking. Boom, all right, now imagination, Quinn. Go play dolls. Sebastian's very energized. Come on, Sebastian, you can do it. Oh, shoot, Sebastian's gotta go to school. All right, bye kids, have fun at school. All right, Quinn, it's all you, it's all you. You gotta play dolls. Keep going, Quinn. You're almost there with imagination. We'll have so many age ups in one episode. Quinn, play dolls. Oh, Leaf has two different tests today and one of them is going to be tough. There's a little time to study beforehand. I feel like Leaf would just study hard for the hard test. Oh, Leaf breezes through the easy test and the extra study time on the harder test really pays off. He gets an A minus and a B plus, not bad. She's done, level three is done and she is being put to bed by mom. We now just have potty next time. I'm going to leave this one here. We're crushing it. I feel like we're finally at the point where most of my kids are like aged up to the point where they could move out of the house, but we're gonna keep them in the house because we don't wanna have twins. But I'm really excited about having this baby. Let me know some baby names in the comments below for a survey.
Parvo baby and also some baby names for an island elemental baby, child of the island spirits. We're gonna be going for that next. Hope you guys are still enjoying this challenge. I know I am and I'll see you guys around very soon. Bye. I did not realize that having a baby with a robot would be so complicated, but you know, after some troubleshooting, we got it working. Sometimes you just gotta turn it off and turn it back on again.